Namaste. Namaste. Welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Mera naam Anjali hai. Hum aaje hai. Kaise hai aap? And I hope you're staying inside and staying safe during this coronavirus time. But today we are going to be doing another Trump speech. Yep. And it is how he is terminating our relationship with the World Health Organization. So after all this has been happening with China and the coronavirus and how they've covered everything up, the World Health Organization definitely has taken the China side, um, at first telling us it wasn't contagious person to person, um, and it just seemed like one thing after the other. So Trump is now saying, done. We're not giving you money. We're not supporting you. And yeah. so we're going to listen to his full speech here. So hopefully China will get some responsibility thrown at them. And, yeah. um, you know, they need people not to be buying from them. They need companies to pull out of there. They need their UN seat revoked. There's a lot of things oh, that yeah. we've uh, gone through on this channel already talking about ways, you know, you personally can kind of not buy from Tribute China to hurt to hurt to them. Stop it. Yeah, speaking out about it. I mean, I feel like they have silenced people here in the U.S. and silenced people around the world, um, which just baffles me that yeah. the Communist Party is that strong even outside of its own country. Um, and it that shouldn't people are be. afraid of them. Yeah. Um, yeah, they need to be accountable for this coronavirus. They need they need a lot of things done to them that. Because they've been lying for I don't know how long. For forever. Who knows how long and who knows what other secrets they're keeping in that lab. Yeah. The lab. I mean, it's not the first time. They have stolen patents. They have no regard for other countries. They really don't have much regard for human life because the doctors that were trying to warn people about the coronavirus disappeared. Um, sure. Yeah. And reporters that try to speak the truth um, also disappeared. So these are the kind of thing, this is not the type of country you want at the top of the UN, at the no. top of uh, G7. These are, this is the country that needs to take a back seat and other countries that are doing good, that are democratic, that are doing well for their country and for the world for are, others. The, are the kind of countries that you want in, in these big seats. Um, yeah. Not ones that are lying and cheating and um, spreading bad, viruses. Spreading, uh, yeah, biological warfare. So we're going to start this up and see what Trump has to say about China and the WHO. Yeah. Ready? I'm here today to talk about our relationship with China and several new measures to protect American security and okay. prosperity. Yeah. China's pattern of misconduct is well known. Mm -hmm. For decades, they've ripped off the United States like no one has ever done before. Hundreds of billions of dollars a year were lost dealing with China, especially over the years during the prior administration. China raided our factories, offshored our jobs, gutted our industries, stole our intellectual yeah, so property stealing. and violated their commitments yeah. under the World Trade Organization. To make matters worse, they are considered a developing nation, getting all sorts of benefits that others, including the United States, are not entitled they to. They shouldn't be. Mm -mm. But I have never solely blamed China for this. They were able to get away with the theft like no one was able to get away with before because of past politicians and, frankly, past presidents. But unlike those who came before, my administration negotiated and fought for what was right. It's called fair and reciprocal treatment. China has also unlawfully claimed territory in the Pacific Ocean, threatening freedom of navigation and international yeah. trade. And they broke their word to the world on ensuring the autonomy of Hong Kong. The United States wants an open and constructive relationship with China, but achieving that relationship requires us to vigorously defend our national interests. The Chinese government has continually violated its promises to us mm -hmm. and so many other nations. These plain facts cannot be overlooked or swept aside. The world is now suffering as a result of the malfeasance of the Chinese government. Yeah, everyone's yeah. suffering. China's cover-up of the Wuhan virus allowed the disease to spread all yeah. over the world, so many instigating a global pandemic 
that has cost more than 100,000 American lives and over a million lives worldwide. Mm -hmm. Chinese officials ignored their reporting obligations to the World Health Organization and pressured the World Health Organization to mislead the world when the virus was first discovered by Chinese authorities. Countless lives have been taken and profound economic hardship has been inflicted all around the globe. They strongly recommended against me doing the early ban from China, but I did it anyway and was proven to be 100 percent correct. China has total control over the World Health Organization, despite only paying $40 million per year compared to what the United States has been paying, which is approximately $450 oh million dollars a year. We have detailed the reforms that it must mm -hmm. make and engage with them directly, but they have refused to act. Because they have failed to make the requested and greatly needed reforms, we will be today terminating our relationship with the World Health Organization and redirecting those funds to other worldwide and deserving urgent global public Good. health needs. The world needs answers from mm -hmm. China on the virus. We must have transparency. Why is it that China shut off infected people from Wuhan to all other parts but of not China? To the world. Yeah. It went nowhere else. It didn't <sighs> go to Beijing. It went nowhere else. But they allowed them to freely travel throughout the world, including Europe and the United States. The death and destruction caused by this is incalculable. We must have answers, not only for us, but for yeah. the rest of the world. This pandemic has underscored the crucial importance of building up America's economic independence, reshoring our critical supply chains, and protecting America's scientific and technological yeah. advances. For years, the government of China has conducted illicit espionage to steal our industrial secrets, of which there are many. Today, I will issue a proclamation to better secure our nation's vital university research and to suspend the entry of certain foreign nationals from China who we have identified as potential security risks. I am also taking action to protect the integrity of America's financial system, by far the best in the world. I am instructing my presidential working group on financial markets to study the differing practices of Chinese companies listed on the U.S. financial markets with the goal of protecting American mm -hmm. investors. Good. Investment firms should not be subjecting their clients to the hidden and undue risks associated with financing Chinese companies that do not play exactly. by the same yeah. rules. Oh, my God. So Americans true. Americans are entitled to fairness and transparency. Several of the most significant actions we're taking pertain to deeply troubling situations unfolding in Hong Kong. This week, China unilaterally imposed control over Hong Kong security. This was a plain violation of Beijing's treaty obligations with the United Kingdom in the Declaration of 1984 and explicit provisions of Hong Kong's basic law. It has 27 years to go. The Chinese government's move against Hong Kong is the latest in a series of measures that are diminishing the city's long-standing and very proud status. This is a tragedy for the people of Hong Kong, the people of China, and indeed the people yeah. of the world. China claims it is protecting national security. They have no national security. But the truth no. is that Hong Kong was secure and prosperous as a mm -hmm. free society. Beijing's decision reverses all of that. It extends the reach of China's invasive state security apparatus into what was formerly a bastion of liberty. China's latest incursion, along with other recent developments that degraded the territory's freedoms, makes clear that Hong Kong is no longer sufficiently autonomous to warrant the special treatment that we have afforded the territory since the handover. China has replaced its promised formula of one country, two systems, with one country, one system. 
Therefore, I am directing my administration to begin the process of eliminating policy exemptions that give Hong Kong different and special treatment. My announcement today will affect the full range of agreements we have with Hong Kong, from our extradition treaty to our export controls on dual-use technologies and more, That's with few exceptions. Yeah. We will be revising the State Department's travel advisory for Hong Kong to reflect the increased danger of surveillance and punishment by the Chinese state security apparatus. We will take action to revoke Hong Kong's preferential treatment as a separate customs and travel territory from the rest of China. The United States will also take necessary steps to sanction PRC and Hong Kong officials directly or indirectly involved in eroding Hong Kong's autonomy and so and just if you take a look, smothering, absolutely smothering yeah. Hong Kong's freedom. Our actions will be strong. Yeah. Our That's actions will be meaningful. More than two decades ago on a rainy night in 1997, British soldiers lowered the Union flag and Chinese soldiers raised the Chinese flag in Hong Kong. The people of Hong Kong felt simultaneously proud of their Chinese heritage and their unique Hong Kong identity. The people of Hong Kong hoped that in the years and decades to come, China would increasingly come to resemble its most radiant and dynamic city. The rest of the world was electrified by a sense of optimism that Hong Kong was a glimpse into China's future, not that Hong Kong would grow into a reflection yeah. of China's past. In every decision, I will continue to proudly defend and protect the workers, families, and citizens of the United States of America. Thank you very much. Thank you. Trump is right in this. I think yeah. we agree here completely that he's stopping the funding to the WHO like they've been siding with China and doing sneaky stuff. They don't need our funding. We can find other world organizations that are doing good um that are actually helping that are people. actually helping and not siding with the communist party that can use our money instead and yeah. hopefully bring some of it back home here for the people that have lost their jobs because of the coronavirus because of china um so so many things that he's doing you know um because they're trying they're taking hong kong and they're not going by the rules that had been set up in advance he's taking the flights back he's not letting people come and go like they used to um you know that we had another video which we haven't done yet about them taking taiwan again too and it's just many of those things they are doing whatever they want to gain whatever they can and they don't care who they hurt and in the process take over the world yeah and lies and lies and more lies so not only have they been lying about the coronavirus, but they've been lying about so many other things. Um, just And how much more are they lying about? How much more are they hiding? Like, yeah. Because it's a communist party, because it's not democratic, they're not letting people come and go. There's no freedom of speech and freedom of press. And so they, and people disappear when they question stuff. So they kind of do whatever they want. And somehow they've become like a, huge power and people are not which they shouldn't it. yeah there's no way they are not treating people humanely in their own country as soon as they stop treating people humanely it should have like they should have not had this big power they should have no. not gotten this far no seat at the g7 they have a seat at the un yeah they are considered a big deal and yet they are not humane when it They're comes to their own the power They're yeah not for... it's all about power it is and they really need a lot of kick in the butt and trump is starting it these are a few things like banning the flights not you know making sure you they are checking people that are coming in because they have stolen so many things from the u.s yeah. um intellectual properties my husband i can't really talk about his job per se but he works for a big company and one of the top people like a I won't say CEO but like one of the big leaders went to China for some business and he left his hotel to get food and realized he forgot something in his room came back upstairs and there were two Chinese guys with his laptop that had been locked in the safe in the hotel room 
and they were hacking it. So had he not come back, he would not have seen them. And he was yelling at them, but he said, he, he told my husband, he was also afraid for his life. It was not only were they trying to steal stuff right out from his computer, but they, he was like, I was afraid for my life. One, how did they get in? How'd they get the key to the safe box? Like, yeah, because they probably work for the hotel, AKA they also work for the Chinese communist party. And so the they, yeah. yeah, the government. So now if anybody travels there, they have to take a blank computer. They are not allowed to take anything that will give China freedom to steal Properties. Which it shouldn't be like that. Mm -mm. Like, China shouldn't have this big control over it. There shouldn't be people sneaking through other people's laptops or other things. Mm -mm. It should be more peaceful, but it isn't. So no. now people have to be, like, afraid of their lives because they can't speak out of Against. what the government wants you to. Yeah. And this is the thing, like, they steal the stuff. So, okay, you bring your company there, you think you're going to make more money because the labor is cheap. But then they take all of your properties, everything that you're making, and they sell it or they go to another company and they make it even cheaper through a different company. And now you now have to make a new product, make something different. And is it worth it? In the end, is it really going to make you that much more money if they're stealing every single thing from your company while you're there, right under your feet? He also, they get um, shipments from China and they will get the same thing. It will, the box will say it's five of the same things and inside the box will be different things because they don't want to go through the paperwork. Yeah. You know, and so it's like lie after lies after lies and they don't they're not honest they do whatever they can to be the next big thing and they know the rest of the world will follow these policies will follow these rules and yet china follows nothing and they care less about their own people and they care less about the people of the world so they need they need to be punished the coronavirus is just the icing on the cake honestly and so here we hope we know Trump is bringing Modi here for the G7 because he wants to include India in part of it and some of the other countries that are surrounding China that are democratic, that are the next big countries that should be part of this. So he wants to make it like the G11. And so we're hoping this is the truth, that he is really like trying to bring in some of these other big up and coming countries that are democratic, that are doing amazing jobs like India and make them a part of these big decision makings. Because if China has less of a vote and the world can kind of come against it, hopefully things will get better for everybody. Yeah. Um, the other thing is we are hoping somebody, and we've been saying this since the beginning of time, since this all started, why are they not taking away their UN seat or putting restrictions on it during this time until we can get in and do an investigation and find out what happened with this COVID-19? So there are a lot, a lot of things going on, but Trump is on the right track in, in stopping some of this and hopefully it will continue to get better here in the U.S. So the doors have opened, some of the business doors have opened today and um, people still have to wear masks, you still have to, you know, keep your distance from people and, um, and so hopefully economy will start getting better and yeah. so hopefully we pray that India can get through this time too and and your doors will open up again as well but we also know that china has been stepping on your doorsteps so we hope that um working together with the u.s and and um the other big thing we talked about too was like the um second amendment here is getting more firearms for the police and for the civilians and i know it's a process and i know not everybody agrees with it but i don't think china would be stepping on your doorstep if everybody could get up and defend, not only yeah. the military, not only the police behind them, but the civilians behind them that. So just another food for thought. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. And don't forget to subscribe. Enjoy the wonderful Jan family. And we'll see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye. Bye.